Hey everybody! Good to see you today! Um, I'm happy to be here. I don't usually stream on a Friday, but um, I needed to uh, carve out some time this week to stream and this is what I had. Uh, we have a kind of busy weekend ahead, my wife and I. So, um, if you weren't with us last time, we were just victorious at the Lava Ridge Gym, mostly because of our girl Guzzle here. Um, sorry, I went to the wrong thing. Um, using that curse and body slam combo to completely wall her Torkoal and claim victory. It was really awesome. Um, so now we are going to get into a lot more cool story stuff. We're going to get into some uh, exploring as well. So I'm really excited. This is our first thing. Our rival, May. Hello. Long time no see. Uh, let's see. So she was visiting the hot springs and she gives us a special item. The go goggles. Now, what do the go goggles do? Uh, with those, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, SCG, challenging gyms. So, uh, she gives us the Go Goggles, and that will let us go into the desert, which is super cool, because there's some really cool stuff that we need to explore there. Um, and that's kind of how you get to that. Um, let's see. Let's heal the squad. I actually do need to... Um, I'm probably going to swap out that uh, Why Not egg for now. I'll grab it back so we can hatch it eventually. But I do want to grab our old friend Fudge Cake out of the PC. Um, so that way we can use Strength. Oh, hey there, Paul Messel's wife. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, all right, so we're going to pop down here. Um, so that place where your rival comes from, she actually did just mention something to us that we'll talk about later, but let's see, uh, <laughs> I'll just call you, uh, uh, PMW. <laughs> um, so this is an actually a special shop. It's an herb shop. Um, it's effective and in inexpensive medicine. So these are special... Um, healing items. This is the equivalent of a super potion, of a hyper potion, of a full heal, and of a max revive, which is actually really valuable, so we're gonna buy a couple. Um, the only thing with these herbs is that they cost less money, but um, they can lower the friendship of your Pokemon because they're bitter. Uh, yes, perfect. Um, so, they're inexpensive, but there is like a slight drawback with them. But for a full max revive, that is like really freaking good. Um, we're gonna have Blaine in the front. Um, so now we are gonna be able to pop down here. Now that our business in Lava Ridge Town is concluded, we are going to hop over to the desert. Now, there is something in the desert. I believe every time I have played, it has always been here um, when I immediately leave Lava Ridge to go to the desert. Um, but I think there is a chance that it might not be here. It is called the Mirage Tower. And there it is. So now there's something very special in here that we're going to need to explore. All right. Ooh, cool music. Um, I'm actually not going to do a repel right now because I kind of want to show off some of the Pokemon that you can find in the desert areas of this game. Here is Trapinch, and this was actually foolish of me because Trapinch often has an ability called... Oh! Arena Trap! That one actually didn't have it. But, um, if you get, tr uh, if you run into a Pokemon with Arena Trap, you cannot run away. Um, so I am actually going to use a Super Repel. Because we talked about Trapinch, we talked about Baltoy, you can catch that here. Um, so let's hop up here. And this is the first place, you see these little things in the floor? If I just walk on it, you'll just fall right through. It's like, like cracks in the floor, like weak spots. 
So what you need to do here, this is actually a mock bike puzzle. So if I do this right, ah, I did it wrong. See, the mock bike, if you're riding quick enough, you can go right over it. Um, but if you run into the wall or stop at all, you'll fall through the floor. <laughs> Trap door, but a bad one. You're right. All right. So now I got to see if I can do this. I need to make sure I'm on the outside. And the mock bike's very hard to control, so this can be tough. There we go. All right. So I did that. And I think there is another mock bike puzzle. See, those you don't have to go over, but these over here you... Oh, I think if you have Rock Smash here, you don't have to do the puzzle. <laughs> it's very tough. Oh, no, you can't get through there anyway. You need Rock Smash. All right. So, we'll go back through here. And here we have what appear to be a couple of fossils. I'm going to get off the bike. So... You found the root fossil. Ah, if we take this one, the other one's gonna crumble into the ground. So then we also have the claw fossil. So PMW, if you're with me, should we take the root fossil or the claw fossil? What do you think? I have a slight lean. <laughs> My wife just yelled something to me. Uh, let's see, the root fossil. Okay. All right, we're gonna take the root fossil. That's the one I was thinking of anyway. Um, okay, so the root fossil we take and, oh! The Mirage Tower sinks into the sand and so, does the claw fossil. Ooh. I wonder if we'll be able to find that later. Very cool. I love the desert area here. Um, it's kind of random a little bit. I am going to save the game. Um, but uh, there's, again, there's there's some really cool Pokemon that you can catch. Trapinch actually evolves into a very strong Pokemon that um, you would be happy to use on your playthrough. Um, but... Yeah, there's Beltoy. There's also a Pokemon called Cacnea. I'm not sure if we're going to see it, but it is a cactus Pokemon, which is cool. And it uh, shows up in the desert, which is great. <laughs> hey, what's up, Maddie? Thanks for being here. Ah, oh, Emerald's the best. Emerald's amazing. I have kind of developed the opinion recently that Emerald may be the best Pokemon game. Um, I don't know how many people agree with that, but I do love it. Um, what was I going to say? Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so we are going to fight these trainers here in the desert, try to get some levels. Oh, Blaziken is amazing. Um, for those of you that don't know, if we would have taken Torchic... Um, Torchic evolves into Blaziken. Uh, and as you can see there, the Sandstorm just uh, damaged us a little bit here. Um, it does not damage Baltoy because Baltoy is a ground type. I, guys, I feel like we have had some pretty rough confusion luck in this run. <laughs> Sorry guys, my nose is all weird right now. Um, one other thing that I'm pretty sure happens in this game is that... Uh, the sandstorm slightly lowers your accuracy. At least I'm pretty sure that's a thing in this game specifically. Um, yeah, let's let Piccolo come in here. Get some levels again. Everyone's everyone's pretty much caught up with our Grovile now. Um, let's see. Ah, Piccolo has a very nice amount of HP. Um, but yeah, I was talking about how Emerald's the best Pokemon game. I, you know, at this point in my life, I have played all of the main series games. Um, and I don't know if any of them are as, like, satisfying to play. Like, the way the engine runs and just kind of like the speed of everything. 
I don't know if any any of them are as satisfying to play as Pokemon Emerald, honestly. Um, and I have said before that um, if you are just starting to play Pokemon, I kind of want to swap out here just because Piccolo has some accuracy drops. If you are starting to play Pokemon, the Gen 1 remakes that they made in Generation 3, Fire Red and Leaf Green, which we'll probably play on this channel at some point because I do appreciate them a lot. I think those Gen 1 remakes are a great place for a new player to start if they've never experienced Pokemon before. Um, I wanted to start with like True Blue Generation 1 um, just because that's kind of where I can't where I come from. But like if you're a kid and you've never played Pokemon before ever, um, so like Gen 1 and 2 can be a little bit uh, you know, a little bit annoying just because, uh, oh, hey, Benjamin. <laughs> a little bit of annoying just for, like, quality of life stuff. Wow, he is talking forever. Okay. <laughs> so we can hop up that mudslide. We've been up there before, actually. I am going to um, try to talk to some of these rocks to see if there are any hidden items. Oh, and here is a fun fact after we defeat this fella. Um, let's see. But how's your day, Matt? Are you doing good? It's been a pretty good day for me. As uh, people who may frequent the streams know, I am on summer break as I work in a school. It is uh, perfection in every way. You're doing great. Thanks, PM Dub. Um, my Blaine, very happy it's Friday. I get that. Um, oh, catch the sand shrew? Fine. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can't catch it. <laughs> uh, um, it's actually, it's a trainer's Pokemon. Um, but if I run into one, sure, I'll catch it. Sh sand shrew is wonderful. I feel like sand shrew is kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, the poison. Sand shrew is kind of an underrated Pokemon. Let's see. I'm going to have to swap out here. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like uh, Sandshrew kind of gets underappreciated in Generation 1 because... What's up, Brody? Hello! How's it going? Um, it gets a little bit... Uh, what's the word? Overlooked in Generation 1 because there's like some other really great ground types you can get to, like Marowak and stuff. Hello, Loctest. Thank you for being here. Um, it is wonderful to see everyone today. How's everybody doing that just popped in? Um, um, so what I was saying was here in the original Ruby and Sapphire, this area over here is actually where you would find the fossils. They added that like cool mirage tower area in this game, Emerald. And just, gosh... Emerald does such a cool, a great job of adding cool things. You're pumped for the weekend. I feel that. I feel that. Um, let's see. We actually have a lot of family stuff this weekend, which will be, you know, exciting and exhausting as family stuff is. Um, <laughs> you feel like you're 17 minutes late. Hey, well, you're here now. Um, and luckily, this lady is still sitting here, so we can pop in and heal our our boy Blaine, which is nice. All right. So we'll pop back down here into the sand. Our uh, repel's effect wore off. Let me pop this here. Super repel again. Lovely. Okay. So we're back in the sand. We got our go goggles on. I believe we fought him. Um, I know there are a few double battles we can do. She is not one of them. Uh, yeah, I want to use all of the trainers here, uh, get some... <laughs> what one question? Ziggy! Um, you're back. <laughs> We're back on the Ziggy train. Um, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of family stuff this weekend. It'll be fun. Ugh, guys. Blaine is killing me. Um, with the old, uh... Fury attack. 
I will pop in here and I can use Piccolo. It will be nice to get into a double battle here soon, so that way Blaine can pick up some kind of like passive experience without having to carry the load, you know? Ah, oh, and there's that accuracy drop um, that can happen in the sand. I don't, because I don't think Sansu had hit hit us with a sand attack yet. Because um, Bullet Seed is normally a 100 accuracy move, but here in the sand, it can miss. And we are just doing terribly right now. I hate it very much. <laughs> and another thing is that this is definitely going to hit first, yes. Um, Ziggy's still sitting at level 13. <laughs> I just don't know if Ziggy's gonna get the, uh, the, uh, experience that you crave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, good. I'm really glad that that was able to knock it out. Um. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. I know you're disappointed. Oh, I did not even pay attention. You know what? I'll throw in Ziggy here. Just for you. Um, I don't even know, I don't even see what it was bringing out Ball Toy. Um, I got the Switch training going. These, these fights in the sand can last kind of a long time, just because, uh, there is just a lot of accuracy cheese going on here. Um, the battles in the sand can take a really long time just because you're always watching that animation of the sandstorm coming through. Really gl glad to get that critical hit there on Bullet Seed. Oh, I thought Ziggy was gonna draw a level there. Ba -ba -da -do 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 -do. Um... <laughs> well, Ziggy was gonna die. I, I was just, I was just getting, him, getting him some experience. Just, uh, let's see. All right. So now, I believe there are some double battles we can do if I do this correctly. I can't believe my life is a lie. And all you have to do is just walk behind them like that. Maybe I just remembered that they would turn around if you ran on this tile, like how I used to do it. Like if you, I showed this in a video and I have to like rescind it. <laughs> Cause when you start running is when they start like looking around. Uh, very funny. Um, let's see, I'm actually gonna fight this guy first. Ah, another Stardust. Um, so a Stardust is a lot like a Nugget. Um, it is an item that you can sell. Um, a Nugget is worth $5,000. And a, whatchamacallit, a Stardust is worth a thousand. All right, this is a perfect candidate for Grovile to come in and clean up. I'm very excited for Blaine to get a better move. I think relatively soon. I don't know if we'll get to it today. I am planning on streaming a little bit longer than usual. Um, just because I probably won't be able to this weekend. Uh, the rest of this weekend, that is. Because I usually like to stream on Saturdays. Um, so we might get there. We might be able to get a better move on Blaine today. We'll see. Oh, a nice four hit on... Bullet Seed to take out the Sand Slash. That is lovely. Perfecto. So Piccolo is going to get a very good move, maybe his best move, at level 29. Um, and I have played this game with Trico so many times that I know that that is <laughs> when it happens. Um, so let's see. Yes, we have some potential double battles here. This guy likes to swap back and forth. I am going to save here. Let's see. There we go. Um, make sure we get the double battle here. Get Blaine and Ron both some experience. Even though it's not great, uh, Ron, as a steel type, will also resist the sand, which is really nice. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to put the sand shrew to sleep. Um, because I really don't want that sand shrew to... Yes. 
Blaine is hitting his sings, man. We really don't want that Sandstrew to use ground moves on Ron. Um, let's see. <laughs> money, money. <laughs> that is a funny point, Brody. <laughs> we could research that Stardust. It's literally from space, but no, we're just going to sell it. We just don't sell it. So this is great. We can double up here. Ah, double team. I hate that in the sand. Hate that in the sand. Okay, good. Love to see that, though. Blaine hitting through it. Blaine's got his... Got his eyes on the prize. Awesome. Ah! Another sand miss. Um... <laughs> I mean, relatively, when you consider that it's from space, it is not very much money. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Ah, classic fake out. Um, I've talked about fake out a little bit on the channel. Good. Let's see. I'm going to speed through this just a little bit to get through some of our sand text a little faster. Um, I believe if we... We'll just start to hit the sand shrew. There we go. One more turn with Peck. We'll do the trick. Oh, nice critical hit, Ron! All right, we're doing lovely. Okay, Sand Slash is even worse, actually. But I'm pretty sure the only ground move that Sand Slash could potentially have is, um, whatchamacallit, Dig. So that'll telegraph so we can swap Ron out if we need to. Okay. Let's see what we can do with another sing. And I'll use another and I'll use a takedown. Uh sing finally misses. And takedown also misses. <laughs> that sand slash that sand attack does not help. Um we'll swap blaine here. I'll just get Piccolo in the fray. Really be able to take out that sand slash a lot easier, especially if it's gonna start defense curling on us. <laughs> Fake out is just a slap on your baby cheeks. It's so true. It's just like, boop, and you're like, huh. <laughs> that is like the whole premise of the move. Um, there we go. Oh, great critical hit, Grove Isle. There we go. Perfecto. We love to see it. Uh, but yes, I want to make sure I fight everybody in the desert ruins here because we don't have much, m many more trainers to fight um, before we have to challenge our next gym. I am actually surprised that Ziggy has not picked up another item because the, the sand is just teeming with them. Um, all right, yeah, she's got two. Pokemon as well. This is actually pretty good for Blaine, um, even though I'm, I am kind of afraid that this Meryl is going to start using Rollout on us. And if it does, we'll definitely swap out. Man, I don't think we've hit one Fury attack in the sand so far. It has been just, excuse me, just tough sledding. <laughs> Alright, at least the Meryl will get hit by the Sandstorm too. There we go. Alright. I'll take three. If it hits and it if it hits and it hits more than twice, I am pretty happy with Fury Attack. It is just so inconsistent. Um, <laughs> let's see. There we go. That'll do it. Love to see a level on Lane. Lombre. That's actually fine. We got some super effective pecs, even though I would maybe bet my mortgage, if I had one, that this Lombre is about to use Fake Out right now. Oh, it didn't! Hooray! I'm really glad I didn't bet my fake mortgage. Alright, Growl, that shouldn't do too terribly. We should still be able to hit for the kill, even though this will weaken our pec. Let's see. Brody, how was your day today? Nice, Picnic Cresselia has been defeated. Okay, so here we have these 
uh, interesting looking structures. They seem uh, particularly placed, these boulders here. I wonder if this means anything. I don't know if we'll figure out the mysteries of those stones, but uh, maybe we will later. And here is the TM for Sandstorm, which is a perfect place to find it. And there's the top of Trainer Hill. We kind of talked about that earlier. Uh, let's see. <laughs> is that how you're doing today, Brody? Um, all right, let's see. We'll use one more Super Repel. Um, let's see. Okay, we have one more trainer here. Brody, just for you, I'm going to start this battle with Ziggy. There we go. I think this is our last trainer that we can fight here in the desert. Um, let's see. She got a Saiyan Shrew. I'm pretty sure Ziggy can live one attack from this Sand Shrew. I mean, we're gonna find out. Oh wow, Ziggy actually outspeeds. Ah, I don't think we're gonna live this dig. There we go. So I'm actually gonna swap here. Um, because I could have stayed in with Ziggy there. Uh, uh. It hurts when she doesn't get love. I understand. Um, I could have stayed in there and let her die. But now, hopefully, she should grow a level. There we go. There we go. 14. Love to see it. All right. Meryl. Um, yes. We'll go back out to Ziggy. We might do another little switch, switch train. Do I outspeed a Meryl? We're going to find out once again. I do! Maybe we can get some flinches. Let's see if I can I can ride the flinch train. Even though it is setting up with some defense curls here. Oh yeah, this is annoying. Alright, Ziggy's going to get a critical hit. I'm calling it. Let's see. Not yet. <laughs> Don't die! Okay, good. <laughs> well, dying builds character. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see. Piccolo can eat this here, Bubble Bean. Ah, the music here is so good. It's just so good. <laughs> oh no! There's a civil war over Ziggy. I mean, Ziggy is a <laughs> Ziggy is a respected member of the squad, not necessarily for her battling, uh, but she is key. Oh, one thing I did actually forget to do one thing um, before we popped over here to the desert. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all that we can do in the desert here. Ooh, we found a rare candy. I forgot there was one right there. That's great. Um, oh, Ziggy is a. <laughs> Uh, Ziggy is up first, so we actually have this, so our repel it doesn't work, since Ziggy's a lower level. Can we run? Oh, heck yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think, this might just be in Ruby and Sapphire, but I think some Zigzagoons can have the ability run away, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <laughs> um... I think some Zigzagoons have the ability Runaway, or they could. Um, and what that does, it, it just makes it so you can always run away from a wild battle. So the reason I wanted to stop over here in the Fiery Path um, was because we can do this little strength puzzle and pick up a couple of items that we might want. There's actually two really nice ones here. Um, all right, so here's us moving boulders for the first time, which is fun. So, if we pop up here, we can get a nice item. I don't remember... Yes, this is the TM for Toxic. Um, so this is really nice. Um, and this is kind of, you know, super optional off the beaten path. So if we decide we ever want to teach anything Toxic, we have that now. Um, <laughs> banned from the Ziggy Appreciation Club, oh no. Um, Alright, so now we can pop over here... 
I'm just gonna knock this one out of the way. There we go. And here is, hold on. Please hold, please hold. Yes, here's a fire stone. Um, so this is kind of the first spot in the game you can get an evolution stone. Um, in generation one, you always have those, one of those boulders totally disappeared. Or is it all the way up here? Oh yeah, it's all the way up here. That's interesting. Okay. Um, but it is the first place in the game you can get an evolution stone. Um, you can get them later in the game. Um, I feel like Generation 1 really did those right, where you're able to buy them kind of like midway through the game. Uh, this one, it's kind of late where you can get them. But in Generation 2, it's really, really hard. <laughs> Brody, at least you have some awareness, buddy. That's funny. Um, okay, so now um, we've stopped into the fiery path. Um, we have explored the desert ruins. We've gotten the fossil. So something we can do now is the following. We're actually going to do a lot of travel here. We actually have to go all the way back to Petalburg City. And it's something that our rival said. Our rival was saying that we should go back to Petalburg City and see if we can fight our dad. So it is really fun, really exciting. After you get the fourth gym badge, you can go back to Petalburg City and fight your dad for the fifth gym badge. And it's really exciting and really cool. Um, I have seen people describe fighting your dad at the fifth gym kind of just like the next step up that the game takes. Um, and there's kind of like a little difficulty spike. Um, and in, it's, that's not wrong. Um, actually, I'm just getting that egg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like Hot Rod. You have to fight your stepdad to prove your worth. <laughs> that is so funny and it's so right. Um, okay, I wanted to pick up the egg so we can get a few more steps on it. Um, so we could go all the way back down to Slateport City and ride the boat back, but I actually want to go this way. Hop on the mock bike. Whee! Riding through. Okay. So, we can pop back here into Rust Turf Tunnel. And we remember reuniting the lovers. <laughs> Join the Ziggy Apocalypse Club? I mean, I mean, why not? I like Ziggy as much as the next person. So now this is actually going to take us back to Rustboro City. But who's this guy? Oh, it's you! You're that person who not only helped me in the Petalburg Woods, but you got my stolen package. Ah, this is the Devon Corporation employee. So he actually gives us a really interesting little item. He gives us a new kind of Pokeball, and that new kind of Pokeball is called the Repeat Ball. Um, yeah, there are some new Pokeballs in this game. Uh, a Repeat Ball is good against Pokemon that you have caught before. And I will actually look to see what some of the other Pokeballs are in Rustboro City, like you said. Um, so now we can pop back here, and we're kind of on our way back to um, Petalburg Woods, and then back to Petalburg City. Hold on, I want to see... <laughs> Catch a Ziggy and name it, name it Wiggy. <laughs> um... So yeah, he gave us the repeat ball, and here is a timer ball. Um, this ball works better the longer the battle goes, which is a really interesting new thing. Um, I'm probably not going to buy any, because it's, kind of, it's kind of a niche um, situation here. But one thing I am going to do while we're in Rustboro City is I'm actually going to pop back into the Devon building. And if you recall, we picked up our fossil... And one of these people trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon fossils. So this guy can bring our fossil back to life. So we can give him the root fossil. Um, he says it takes a long time to work. I'm pretty sure, much like in other generations, all you have to do is give it to him and then come back. Just leave the building, rather, and come back. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Haha! -ha. So, um, the Pokemon we got is Laleep. Um, Brody, do you have a nickname for Laleep? Or PM Dub? 
Um, Lilip's a cool Pokemon. It's kind of like an ancient... <laughs> uh, I'll name it one of those. <laughs> Alright, it's a boy. Uh, I'm gonna name him Biggie. Frogger? Um... <laughs> String bean? Love string bean. Um, string bean. Big bean. Ooh, I like big bean. Let's do big bean. That's kind of a nice... A nice mix. Big bean. Kind of like a jack in the beanstalk. It's kind of like an ancient... Um, Pokemon. It's... Because the other fossil Pokemon is Anorith. And it's kind of like... A trilobite-y, kind of like weird crawfish bug thing. Um, and Laleep, I just want to show you what Laleep looks like. Um, Laleep is... It kind of looks like a sea anemone. Um, it's a rock grass type. It's very interesting. Um, and there's kind of a thing with the fossil Pokemon that they're always part rock. Um, because they came from a fossil. Um, yeah, Laleep is a very interesting Pokemon. It's a very, like, defensive Pokemon based on kind of, like, status and healing and, like, you could use, like, Sandstorm and Giga Drain and stuff like that. Um, but I remember, we used, we used a fossil in our yellow playthrough, so I didn't want to use, makes perfect sense, absolutely. I didn't really want to use a fossil in this playthrough. Um... But we're we're gonna we're gonna be getting some new team members soon. Don't you guys worry. Um, I have really decided to punish myself with one of them, and it's gonna be something that I've never tried before. Um, and I I've hint I hinted at that earlier. I'm really excited to do it, and especially to do it on stream because, again, this is a game I've played so many times, but I've never tried to do it. Um, so here we are. We're back in Petalburg City. How, how far is our egg? It moves occasionally. It should hatch soon. Okay. Um, so that should happen sooner rather than later. Intrigued! Yes, well, you're gonna see. Um, <laughs> I have to go, but one last thing. <laughs> Brody, thanks for being here. You are you are a laugh riot. Um, let's see. Alright. So we're actually gonna save... Your dad's gym is super cool. Um, so when you pop in here, each room is themed. It has like a battle theme, like the attack room, the defense room. And each has like a specialized Pokemon for that strategy. It's really cool. Um, I don't really know what this is. It looks like just like a flower. It's just lovely. Um, so, speed room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Absolutely, I do. And... Your father's name is Norman, and he trains the normal type, which is great. Um, so in Ruby and Sapphire, I believe everyone in the first room had a Linoon, or a, I think a Swellow. Everyone in the second room had a Linoon, and everyone in the third room had a Pokemon called Zangoose, um, which is really interesting. Um... We're gonna meet Zangoose here soon, but in Emerald they all have different Pokemon, which is which is cool. You'll see what I mean. Ah, uh, the ability to attack before the opponent. Um, the normal man type. Hey, you're right. Oh, he the milk. No, he doesn't doesn't have a milk tank. Um, so here we've seen Swellow. This is the evolved form of Taillow, and there is a little bit of a level jump, at least between like the regular trainers. Luckily, Ron's gonna be able to take a wing attack really well. And it doesn't really matter that we are much slower than the Swellow. And a lot of times these trainers will use a specific item. Like in the speed room, he might use an X speed on his Swellow. Um, but it looks like he's not going to do that here because he is already way faster than our boy Ron. Which is fine. Like I said, Ron's tanking. Ron's tanking these hits. I do like the ability Rockhead. Um for Ron because he doesn't take that recoil from takedown. The only problem is takedown is just not that accurate of a move. Ooh, and he's got a hyper potion too. I actually didn't know that. So we don't have to do that again. Um, let's see. Let's just keep using headbutt because headbutt doesn't miss. 
And honestly, here, we can probably speed through this. Ron, if, if all he's got is wing attack in his arsenal, he ain't doing crap to Ron. Look at that critical hit. We're doing wonderfully. Good job, Ron. Excellent battle. Excuse me. Mm. Level 26 we go. All right, so those new doors open up, but I want to fight every trainer in here, so I want to go over here too. This is the accuracy room. If I'm not mistaken, this fine young lady here is going to have... Oh, thank you. Um, this lady here is going to have a Dell Caddy, I think? Giggle, this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Oh, yes. This woman does have a Dell Caddy because it knows the move Faint Attack. And Faint Attack is a move that never misses. It's much like... It's Dark-type Swift, um, much in the same way that Shockwave is Electric-type Swift. And I hope this does not kill it. It's not Stab. Don't kill it. Okay, great. We're doing great. Good. Love to see you sing hit here. Now that I know this Delcaddy has Shockwave, I'm actually going to swap out to Guzzle because we don't want Blaine taking those. There we go. Ah! This shouldn't do much to Guzzle. As we learned in the last battle, Guzzle's, Guzzle's very tanky. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing great. And we're actually at a point in the game where our... Since we've only been training four team members so far, our levels are actually, like, on par. If you've been training, like, a full... Nice crit. If you've been training like a full team at this point, your levels would be starting to fall behind. Um, ooh, protect. That's a cool move. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of smoke screen for protect. Um, yeah, that's fine. Protect can be useful. There we go. Guzzle learns her best move, I believe, at level 36, which I'm really excited about. Um, so that opens all the doors. So there's two uh, uh, rooms on this level. In the next level, there are three rooms. In the third level, there are two. And then it leads back to the gym leader's room. So it's kind of like a diamond, uh, the way the gym is shaped. But we are actually going to pop out. And we're going to heal the squad real quick. Just because I don't feel like using my potions. And the ye old Pokemon Center is right here. We're doing great. Um... But yeah, this is kind of one of the cool things that, uh, one of the coolest things they do in Pokemon is have you fight your dad. I think that's such a cool little, um, story thing that they decided to do for this game. Um, and again, it's kind of like a gateway to the rest of the game because after you, uh, battle your dad, you gain the ability to use the move Surf. Ah, recovery room. Um, <laughs> we all wish we could fight our dad. That's so true. It is a real, it is a real fantasy. Um, I don't know what that Japanese says behind him there. It's kind of blurred out. It might not be true Japanese. Sometimes when you're looking at stuff in video games, it's kind of like vaguely fake language. Mm. So this guy's got a slack off. Not a very strong Pokemon, but... Slack Off famously has this move called Slack Off. Um, it's a lot like Recover, where it can recover its HP. But Slack Off, ooh, counter, that's bad. Okay, we're doing all right. Slack Off actually also has a terrible ability called Truant, and it only moves every other turn. It's loafing around on every other turn. Really bad ability. Um, but you'll see why it has that ability later when we fight our dad. Oh, I really wanted that to hit because I knew it was going to heal itself. Dang it. <laughs> could I beat my dad in a fight? I'm pretty sure I could. I feel like I'm in better shape than my dad, but I would never want to fight my dad. We have a good relationship. He makes me mad sometimes. Um, I am actually going to swap out here because... Um, this slack off is just gonna keep out healing our boy Blaine, and we need to 
we need some some more firepower here. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot. Ugh, freaking counter. Yeah, that hurts a lot more from Guzzle, so I'll switch to Ember. There we go. Nice. And now that it's loafing around... Ooh, he has a berry. It is the recovery room, after all. Ah, citrus berry. Um, that is a lot like the orange berry, which we've seen. Oh, I didn't know it, new Shadow Ball. That is a lot like the orange berry that we've seen. Um, but it recovers 30 HP instead of just 10. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, that Slack Off is only a first form Pokemon, but it was giving us some weird trouble there with its counter. And there we go. Um, okay, so that opens up the next level. So you don't have to fight everyone in here, I just like to. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna heal Guzzle. Use some of our super potions. Lovely. So here, what is here? We have the defense room. Ah. And here in the defense room, we see the return of an old classic Pokemon. Good old Wigglytuff. Um. Ah. Uh, Wigglytuff is a really cute Pokemon. Oh boy, Double Edge. I did not remember that it knew this. Don't kill me. It did. It did kill me. Wow. How about that? All right, Ron. Perfect time for Ron. We can ruin that accuracy really quick. This is the second Pokemon in this gym that knows Shadow Ball. There we go. Love to see it. You like Wigglytuff more than uh, Jigglypuff? I get it. Yeah, I like, I like Wigglytuff more too, I think. Even though Jigglypuff is far more famous. Hate to see defense curls. Especially with our first takedown missing. Let's head up. Alright. Something that I might do here is that Ron's not really going to be able to bust through this defense very well. So I'm going to continue to lower its accuracy. And we'll go into Piccolo. Get some bullet seeds going. Even though I don't think Bullet Seed will do much, it does not do much at all. Yeah, we're at a point in the game where our team does not have a lot of offensive firepower. Um, oh boy. Don't kill me. Oh my goodness. Alright, good news is... Ooh, and it's using a potion! That's not good. <laughs> um... Piccolo might go down here. Um, got some good luck on Bullet Seed. I'm just going to see what we can do here. Hopefully we can get some misses, but I'll just go into Guzzle to finish things off. Very good luck with Bullet Seed. Awesome. Some good accuracy luck. Nice. Once again. Yeah, that uh, same type attack bonus double edge was devastating on Wiggly Wigglytuff there. Dang. Uh, oh, yes, but as I was saying, our team is really lacking some offensive firepower. Like I said, in about a level and a half, Piccolo is really going to be able to pull its weight a lot more. Um, but for now, we're still stuck with, with good old Bullet Seed. Um, okay. Oopsie. My goodness. <laughs> I cannot go into the Pokemon Center. Um, but yeah, the game really opens up after you fight your dad in this game so your dad is kind of like kind of like the final boss of the first half of the game if that makes any sense um which is wonderful game design it's really nice emerald gosh emerald's great and i i am a big generation 2 fan that is where my heart is but it's really over the years it's really come to me that Gen 3 is the best. <laughs> this really is just reflective of life. It's really true. Um, so here, I'm actually going to save because I have anxiety. <laughs> your dad is the final boss of the first half of your life. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, so this is the confusion room. Um, this guy has a special confusion Pokemon. We've seen it before. It's Spinda. 
What's up, Spinda? Does not does that not look like a confusion Pokemon? Spinda actually has a very interesting ability. It has an ability called Own Tempo, where it cannot be confused. Dizzy Punch can confuse you when it hits. It also has a special move called Teeter Dance, um, that when it uses it, it will confuse all of the Pokemon on the field. Um, uh, but not it, because again, it has the Own Tempo ability, so that's why it's a really, and here it is. It confuses our on, but it does not confuse itself. Oh boy! Oh no, this will annihilate Ron if it hits. Please hit. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so it is clearly trying to gear up for some focus punches. Um, let's just see if we can hit through it. Because Yeah, I know it's going to try to... Because we're four times weak to fighting, so it really wants to use focus punch here. And if I hit myself in confusion, we're goners. But it looks like we are still hanging on. Okay, using a Hyper Potion. All right, we can hit ourselves here and not die. That's great. Dang it! So this will for sure kill Ron. Whoa! I don't think we've seen Focus Punch hit yet. That's what that looks like. It destroyed us. <laughs> um, okay. Again, we'll go out to Guzzle, get some offensive firepower here. Okay, great. I'm really glad it's not trying to confuse us again. That is a great critical hit. Guzzle is just so slow. There we go. And I think... I don't know if Focus Punch always goes first like that. Or if we're just that slow that it still outsped us through... <laughs> through a... Uh paralysis and it does annoy me greatly but we're actually gonna have to go back and heal again because I don't want to waste a revive right now I just don't feel like it even though I do kind of have a lot if we if we die again I'll probably just do that instead of go all the way back to the Pokemon Center um, but we only have two more trainers left in our dad's gym and then we should be able to challenge the man himself that should time out pretty nicely all right, so that was the speed room. And here, this is the defense room. We defeated the Wigglytuff in there. And here we have the strength room, which is very interesting. And I believe this is where we find our old friend Zangoose that I described to you guys. Uh, but we have not seen one in the game yet, which so I'm excited to show that off to you. Gym leader told us to go all out and beat you. Doesn't matter if you're the leader's kid. I'm not getting any preferential treatment. What good is being the gym leader's kid if I don't get any preferential treatment? So here's Zangoose. It is a really edgy, hardcore Pokemon. It's a single form, uh, normal type, uh, very powerful, slash very strong because it has a high critical hit ratio. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is use Ron's very powerful defenses and some accuracy drops um, to hopefully get past the Zangus. Um, and we've been lucky so far that we haven't seen any critical hits. Um, but now let's start swinging. Ah, yes, and here's Swords Dance. This raises his attack by two stages, so we are going to want to make some decently quick work of the Zangus. Um, seeing Slash hit there makes me very sad. Um, but again, luckily Ron's defenses are crazy high, um, and we resist those normal moves. But with Swords Dance, ugh, if it gets a critical hit, we are probably goners. I'm going to switch to Headbutt. Yep. There's that critical hit. What I'm actually going to do here is uh, they're probably going to use a potion, I would guess. Yes. And we have lowered the accuracy a couple stages, so I'm really hoping that we can get some better luck on that. Okay, good. We have had some crazy bad luck there. Um, Alright. If we... Oh, another Swords Dance. So now that it has used Swords Dance three times, it has... That is crazy unlucky! We just kept getting hit! 
it has raised its attack six stages. So now, if we get hit with a slash with pretty much any of our other Pokemon, we are goners. So I'm hoping that this Bullet Seed can knock out the Zangoose. It looks like we're going to need three or four hits for that to happen. Nice! <laughs> okay, good. Um, so yeah, its attack was maxed out. It could not raise its attack any further. So that worked out really well. I mean, not so well. Iran still died, but I am a man of my word. I'll just use a revive. There we go. And the next room in this gym is actually pretty similar to the one we were just in with Zangoose. Um, this is the one-hit KO room. And, again, it's very similar. Um, really wants to set up, like, high attack with Slash. Um, but it's kind of more critical hit focused. It might, might see some focus energy here. Um, so here is Vigoroth. So, we have Slackoth, and it evolves into Vigoroth, which is kind of like the anti-Slackoth. It's very, like, there's focus energy. It's very, like, full of, uh, full of vigor, full of life. It's not slacking off. It doesn't have that same truant ability. Um, so, I am, again, going to try to lower some accuracy. Um, I might lower it by a few more stages. I think I might hit it with, like, two more mud slaps. Luckily, focus energy has not hurt us yet. Still no. I don't know if... I don't think Vigoroth has Swords Dance like Zangoose does. Um, so we should be in pretty decent shape with Ron here. Finally getting some misses. I'm like, I don't even know why I'm bothering to use my mud slap. Um... Maybe I'll try a Metal Claw. Metal Claw does have the same type of attack bonus. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Um, Cause Takedown's not doing much. That does about the same. I'll use Metal Claw again. Um, one good secondary effect of Metal Claw is that it can raise your attack when you use it. Um, so maybe I'll try to get some attack buffs. And it just looks awesome. Look at that animation. So sick. Um, I mean, we lowered his accuracy four stages. I feel like he's still hitting us way too much. There we go. Metal Claw does not have a 100% hit rate, though. I think it's 95, which is good. I'm actually really happy we didn't miss any. Um, all right. So, I really don't want to go back and heal again, but I'm going to specifically because we might need some of those mud slaps from Ron um, to get through this fight. Um... And, again, I just can't enter this Pokemon Center. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is the battle with our dad, Norman. His team is actually revamped a lot from Ruby and Sapphire. Um, he actually has a much more varied team, one that I think is a lot cooler in this game. Um, are there Hyper Potions here? Still no, but I will pick up a couple Supers. I'll pick up a couple Great Balls. Anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so let's head back to the gym, and we'll go all the way back to see our dear old man. So back through the speed room. Back through the defense room. Back through the strength room. And then finally, we can enter gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon await you, the sign says. You want to go through the S. I love your dad's room in this gym. It's just really simple. You just have those little windows and the lights coming in. I love this room. It's just so simple and perfect. This gym is great. This gym is a really cool, like, theming to it. And the badge is the balance badge. It's very simple, very balanced. It's like a diamond shape. 
the gym is, not the badge. Lovely. Um, okay. So, our dad is going to lead with a Spinda. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put this Spinda to sleep. And then we can do some work. But first, I'm going to save. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here he is. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. SCG. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. SCG, you better give it your best shot, too. Hmm. Great. Wonderful intrigue. Leader Norman would like to battle. And he leads with Spinda. So he's definitely going to try to do some confusion shenanigans. Ah, so here is the signature move of our dad's gym. It's called Facade. And what it does is if you are, I believe, burned, paralyzed, or poisoned, um, the move will do more damage. So I believe it doubles. So... Kind of the whole thing is that it will turn a bad situation into an advantage. And I think that's literally what your dad says after you beat him. Um, but yeah, it's a cool move. And it's a normal type move. I think I'm going to try to set up some curses here. Um, see what I can do. And I can maybe use a similar strategy. I should narrate nature documentaries. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think I might be able to use a similar strategy that we use against Flannery. But I am a little scared to set up too much against the Spinda. Okay, good, because, great. The higher our attack goes, the more being hit by confusion will hurt us. So that worked out great. And we are plus one in attack for Guzzle, so I'm gonna stay in. Our dad's got a Vigor off of his own. It's probably gonna try to kind of hit through Ah, Faint Attack. That's an interesting choice. I feel like that wouldn't do too much damage. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to try to set up another Curse. Um, one thing I might not want to do is Paralyze it with Body Slam. I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, because if I do Paralyze it, it can probably really do some damage with a Facade. Like I was just talking about. But... Uh, we'll see. And I... Oh, great! That is great, because I have the Macho Brace on Guzzle still, so even with the Paralysis, we're still slower than Vigoroth. But that's awesome. Okay, we're plus two on attack. We're going to see if we can sweep. Um, so here is Lyanoon. I don't know if we've seen a Lyanoon yet. A Zigzagoon evolves into a Lyanoon. How neat is that? Um, it can go in a straight line now. Um, it's a cool little Pokemon. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's the Raticate. It's the Furret of this generation. Belly Drum is a cool move. Um, it maximizes its attack. It cuts its own HP to maximize its attack. Unluckily, unluckily for Linoon, for Linoon, it lowered its HP a bit too much and Guzzle can knock it out. But now, now it's the main event, folks. Slacking. This is the final evolution of Slackoff. And Slacking, look at that big boy. Um, Slacking is crazy strong. It has like the stats of a legendary Pokemon, but it has that Truant ability where it only hits every other turn. So it's very gimmicky, but it's very strong. Um, and that Truant ability kind of like, uh, what's the word? Balances it. But I have a great strategy. I'm going to use Protect on this first turn where Slacking will attack. But now on this turn where Slacking can't attack, I'm going to use Body Slam. And we can rinse and repeat this process, baby. Oh! I got him stuck in a loop. Look at that. Oh, that's great. This is amazing. Um, okay, so it's, he has a berry. That is awesome. Okay. 
So we're just gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep doing this. Can't attack me this turn. We attack. Can't attack me. We'll use protect. Can't attack me. We'll attack. Wonderful. Um, all right. I'm pretty sure he's gonna heal this turn anyway. Yeah. Um, so the whole reason that we can use protect um, like this is I actually don't mm, um, is that I don't know if he can attack this turn or not no he can't I messed it up dang it um, I'm gonna try for the double protect oh I got it oh that's amazing the way protect works is that it will always work the first time you use it but if you try to use it twice in a row it's very unlikely to work and if you try to use it three times in a row it's almost impossible for it to work but the fact that we got the double protect there was crazy. Um, and we're just going to keep riding this strategy through this battle. Dude, Torkoal, Guzzle, she has been the key to everything. Um, these last two gym battles. The curse strategy, and that protects a new move. Um, so that's awesome. Um, I'm still going to protect, yeah, just in case. Because I don't think, I don't know if he has any more heals left. Um, and I only have three more body slams. Ama Give it up for Torp, says PMW. That's right. Thank you. Give it up for Torque. Torp. Or wait, Guz! Ah, <laughs> uh, we defeated our dad. Torkoal wins the day. I, I can't, I can't believe it, SCG. I lost to SCG. But rules are rules. Here, take this. Our dad gives us the badge. Oh, we received the balance badge from dad. Oh, lovely. Uh, with that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know the HM moves Surf, we'll get to that in a second, will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you. Um, so this is the TM. What's up, Brody? We just defeated Norman. Um, this is the TM4 facade. Uh, yes, it was just like I said. It can turn a bad situation into an advantage. That is exactly what he says. That's funny. As a gym leader, I can't express how upset I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Yeah. Norman's really not knowing how to feel right now. I get it, dude. So here is, I believe, Wally's dad. And he takes us with him. This is funny. Um, in this game, he comes to get you. In Ruby and Sapphire, they don't tell you that you have to go to his house. So they kind of like force you to do it in this game. Please excuse us for dragging you all the way here. Our Wally's become very healthy since we went to Verdant Turf Town. Oh, that's really great. Um, so he gives us a nice item as thanks, and it is the HM for Surf. So that is really going to unlock the game like I described. All right, so... Brody, you're in luck. You know who's getting Surf. Let's pop on down here to our HMs. Ziggy. All right. Um, uh, we'll get rid of Sand Attack. Lovely. Ziggy learns Surf, so that's great. Um, and the first time... Oop. Oh, this is just a random trainer. Ah, I gave a Pokeblock to my Shroomish. Uh, we might be dealing with Pokeblocks later, much to my intrigue and kind of uh, uh, fascination. Um, okay. So, here, we can actually Surf on these little pools of water. Listen to that triumphant surf music. Oh, it's lovely. Um, so yeah, we can pop down here. Grab an ether. Um, we have, I believe, something else here. Yes, a rare candy. Lovely. Um, and then there is one more item here we can pick up in Petalburg City. 
up on this pond. This is actually very um, reminiscent of Violet City in Generation 2 um, because there are a couple of bodies of water um, in Violet City that you can only uh, traverse later in the game. Max Revive, great item. All right. So, um, uh, <laughs> yes. So we are gonna heal at the PC here. Um, all right. So, yeah, we surfing, baby. We surfing. So, one place I'm actually gonna go is I'm gonna go back over this way. Um, because I kind of spoke about this earlier. But... We actually have to go back um, to Mauville City. Now that we have the HM for Surf, um, that will, again, it will kind of unlock some new areas for us in the game. And this is, remember, where we fought our rival for the first time. And we can take a little shortcut here. And we have a couple swimmers that we can fight. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, wow. So here's a tentacle. Ah, it is the same level as Blaine, so... Please just don't hurt me too much. That annoys me a lot, actually. Okay, great. Do I have a regular potion? I'm all out. How are we? That's fine. No big deal. Um, who do we have? We have... These two need to get a few levels here. I'm going to save because Iran's probably not going to be in very good shape against these two. Haha, I had to time it just right. Um, but this is actually going to lead us back to that little area um, right by Cycling Road. And their levels are a little weak, it seems. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm hoping one takedown can take out the tentacle in one shot. And I was right. That is lucky. That is lucky. Um, there we go. Fury attacks being annoying as usual. You training? I will train Ziggy a little bit. All right. So now we defeated them. Their levels are oddly weak, seeing as we can't fight them until that point in the game. Um, so we're back here, if you recall. Uh, there's the trick house. We'll inspect that a little bit later. Um... And now that we're back here, we can actually pop up here to check something out. There is a nice little item right on this little island, and it's a rare candy. Ah, uh, Surf. Uh, surf really, like, continues to unlock the game. This, from a game design perspective, this game is, is, is wonderful. Um, there's just a lot of cool things. <laughs> level 22. The, when does Zigzagoon evolve? Does it evolve at level 22? Or does it evolve at level 20? I feel like it's level 20. Um, so. So we can do level 20. Very cool. Um, is there Surf and Crystal? There absolutely is. There absolutely is. Um, so... Guys, I think we're actually at a really good stopping point right now. Um, I kind of have to take care of some more things tonight, but we do have our friend Watson standing here. What is Watson standing here for? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to find out next time. Um, but, guys, this was a great stream. Thank you for being here. This has been super fun. Um, got to explore the desert. We got to beat our dad. It's everybody's dream. Um, and with that, we will be back with more Emerald next week. Cliffhanger! That's right. Back more Emerald next week. I'll probably get into more Yu-Gi-Oh! next week as well. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, thank you so much. Um, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, kids.